So in the earlier lecture, I talk about uh, canonical transformation. Sorry, in the earlier lecture, I will talk about conjugate momentum, cyclic coordinate, and ignorable coordinates. Now, today's lecture, I will talk about the Legendre transformation, and uh, th that will help us to relate the Lagrangian and the Hamiltonian. So, for this, let us recall Lagrangian. It is this Lagrangian is a function of q1, q2, and so on, qn, q1 dot, q2 dot. All we know from the earlier lecture, so need not to talk about all these things. So also, we have discussed that pr is equal to curly l over curly qr dot, and here. P R and Q R, or in other words, I can say that uh, this Q R and P R, they are conjugate pairs. So, in short notation, I can say that Lagrangian is simply is depending upon Q and Q dot. And it's also depending upon time. So, yeah, let me write down it here. Or if I do not write, then it doesn't matter, right? To really, uh, to understand the concept of Lagrangian transformation, right? So here P is basically curly L over curly Q dot. That's what we know. And Q and P, these are conjugate pair. So now our motive is to find out another function which depends upon Q and P, not upon Q dot, right? So that means we need a type of uh, relationship between this L and H. This H we call here, it is a Hamiltonian function. This is the Hamiltonian. So that means this can be done with the help of some transformation. So means we need a transformation relation which relate these two. So, and such type of uh, relation we can see because here we have changed the variable, right? Like, right these variables have been changed. So that means such type of uh, thing we can do in mathematics and, uh, come, and that comes under the topic of uh, legendary transformation, right? That comes means such type of transformation in which the variables are changed and we are moving from one function to the another function. So such thing can be seen in the legendre transformation in mathematics. So now let me understand that what is a legendre transformation. So let us uh, recall mathematics. So let us go to the mathematics of a legendary transformation. So f is a function of x and y, right? And if I take a differential of both sides, then df can be written as curly f over curly x and this y is constant into px plus curly f over curly y, keeping this as constant. And this is dy. And let me call this as equation number one, and this is as equation number two. And it can be written as u dx plus v dy. So this is equation number three. And here, this u is basically curly f over curly x constant y and v is equal to curly f over curly y, right? So that's what I have assumed. So here, differential, it is a differential of x and y. So that means this df is a function of x and y, right? This we have to keep in mind because this will help us to uh, help passing later on. So now 
as we know that uh, we have a if we go to back uh, there we know that uh, there is a lagrangian is a function of q and q dot and hamiltonian is a function of q and p so that means uh, we need a type of a relationship between these two so that means that means we know we are interested to find out this right so for that what i will do i will do one thing uh, i will consider and here uh, this ux and vy they are conjugate pair they are conjugate pair and uh, consider a one conjugate pair vy and let us consider their product if i consider their product so and such that and if we take their differential so if i take dvy then it is y dv it is simply the product rule which i am applying and v d y and let me call this as equation number 4 now if i take 4 minus 3 if i do this operation then what i am getting i am getting that d b y minus d f is equal to y d v plus v d y minus u d x plus v d y let me open it y d b plus v d y minus u d x plus sorry it's not plus but it's minus v d y and this v d y this will cancel out and uh, we will remain with the d v y is equal to y d v minus u d x and if i compare this with that d f which we have obtained as a uh, u d x plus v d y and this means that it is a function of f x y similarly we have obtained now u d v from here minus v d x so that means here v is sitting and here x is sitting so i call it as it is a function of uh, means there is something which is a function of vgx because here it is basically df and df is a function of x and y so keeping this in mind i can write down this either this way or i can write down this as x v right so that's what i am getting df p so it means uh oh i missed this uh, let me correct it Minus d f will be there and is equal to this one. So that means this can be written as d g x v d g x v. So it means v y minus f it is equal to d g x v. or i can say that that g x v it can be written as v y minus f and f is a function of x and y that's the relationship which i am getting here so this is the legend transformation this is known as legend transformation now let me recall our relation that as we need a 
Hamiltonian, which we must, which is of the form of this, and Lagrangian is a Q and Q dot. Q and Q dot. And both are related to each other. If I write down, because it is x, v, and this is v, y, so it is basically the product of these two. Right? It's the product of these two. It is v, y, or y, v, whatever you want to call it as. So if I write down p, q dot here with negative sign, then both looks identical. So that means. This is the Legendre transformation. Which relate Lagrangian and Hamiltonian, right? Now, let us generalize it. So to generalize it, Let us proceed as follows. So if say Lagrangian is basically depending upon more than Q1 dot, Q2 dot, and so on T. And where P1 is basically curly L over curly Q1 dot, and P2 is equal to curly L over curly Q2 dot. That's what we know. and so on and then let us define a Hamiltonian and that is depending upon Q1, Q2 and so on P1, P2 and so on T. Now generalizing this we, we, we can write down the expression for Hamiltonian as like this that Hamiltonian basically q1 q2 and so on p1 p2 and so on t it can be written as that is p1 q1 dot plus p2 q2 dot and so on minus hamel lagrangian q1 q2 and so on Q1 dot, Q2 dot, and so on T. That's what we are getting. And in the form of summation, this can be written as that Hamiltonian Q1, Q2, and so on QR, P1, P2, and so on PR comma t it is equal to summation r varies from 1 to n and it is p r q r dot minus lagrangian q1 q2 and so on q r comma q1 dot q2 dot q r dot and t right so this is the Lagrangian uh, legend, uh, sorry, it is a legendary transformation. So, this is the general legendary transformation which relates Lagrangian and Hamiltonian. So that's all for this uh, lecture. Now in the next lecture, I will talk about uh, Hamilton's canonical equations of motion. Thanks for watching this lecture.